Hello dear students, I'm Pratima. I welcome you all to this video. Today I'll share another question with solution from competency-based question for class 9 and 10 CBC. So let us begin. It is also asked in different competitive examination also. Here the question is the vertices the vertices of an equilateral triangle lie on a circle with radius 2 unit. The area of the triangle is, there are four options. One is 3 under root 3 square unit, 2 under root 3 square unit, 5 under root 3 square unit, 4 under root 3 square unit, and none of the above. Again, I'm analyzing the question. A circle is there whose radius is 2 cm, here one equilateral triangle. Let us draw a figure. So the ABC is the equilateral triangle, which is drawn circle O, whose radius is 2 cm. So OC is 2, OB is 2, OA is 2. You have to find the area of the triangle. For area we know, we need the sides of a equilateral triangle so that area of a equilateral triangle is equal to root 3 by 4 into side square for equilateral triangle only so here this side i am taking as twice x AC, let this is AB, this is BC, is equal to 2 times of X. And here what I have done, I have dropped a perpendicular from A on BC. So we know that BD, length of BD is same as length of DC. If AC is equal to 2X, certainly it would be X. I need to find twice x so that I can put in the formula and get the result. Now for the timing, I am taking OD is equal to y. And let OD is equal to y. And when AC is equal to twice x, C equal to x. So now I will frame some equation. I am taking the help of Pythagoras theorem. I am taking triangle ODC. Triangle ODC, if I apply the Pythagoras theorem, y square plus x square is equal to 2 square, that is 4. Equation 1. Then I am going to triangle ADC. I am taking help of triangle ADC. Here, AD is equal to 2 plus y because it is AO plus OD. So here, AD square plus CD square is equal to AC square. So 2 plus Y whole square plus X square is equal to AC square that is 2X whole square. Or I'm getting 4 plus Y square plus 4Y plus X square is equal to 4X square. Or y square plus 4y is 4 minus 3x square is equal to 0. Now this value of x square I will get from equation 1. From here, from equation 1, this square is equal to 4 minus y square. Now putting in Above equation, I'll get 4y plus 4 minus 3 into 4 minus y square is equal to 0. Or y square plus 4y plus 4 minus 12 plus 3y square is equal to 0. Or I'm getting a quadratic equation 4y square plus 4y minus 8 is 0. Dividing throughout 2. I'll get 2y square. Y dividing with 2, I'll divide with 
for result. So y square plus y minus 2 is 0. Now next I'll split, split the middle term. y square plus 2y minus y minus 2 is 0. Now splitting the middle term I'll get y into y plus 2 minus 1 into y plus 2 is 0 or this is, this is equal to y plus 2 into y minus 1 is 0. So here there are two values of y. One is y plus 2 is 0. y is negative 2. It is not possible. Then y is equal to this is not possible. I'm not taking the value. y minus 1 is 0. I'm taking y is equal to 1. So y is equal to 1. Next, I'll go for x. I'll go to equation 1. I'll put y is equal to 1 here. Putting y is equal to 1 in equation 1, I'll get x square is equal to 4 minus 1, that is 3. So, x is equal to under root 3. Now, side I have taken 2 i is x so 2 root 3. Now area is equal to root 3 by 4 into 2 root 3 whole square or 4 cancel it will be 3 root 3 square unit. So A will be the correct answer. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you for subscribing.